I'm Ritsuko Komaki. I'm a radiation oncologist at the MD Anderson Cancer Center. When we started to use uh, radiation, well, that goes way back, you know, like 1895 when Rentgen discovered X-ray. To give adequate dose to kill cancer cells, it caused more damage than helpful. And that was the major problem for many years. And also because of the scatter of the low dose of radiation, some of the like Hodgkin patient, young children, they were treated. And 20 years after, they developed second malignancy because of this low dose of radiation. To reduce normal tissue toxicity, that's the major task now. So like proton, it really has pinpointed radiation when it enters to the skin it really has very low dose of radiation and then about the middle of the body that's the energy deposit into the tumor and then all of a sudden there is no more effect of the the radiation once they deposit all the energy to the tumor so it will be the perfect the treatment to to treat like, uh, say, the children who are growing up, or maybe even lung cancer, which is surrounded by very sensitive, sensitive normal cells. Now the proton is capable to spare those normal tissues.